live broadcast, we're going to look at how to beat the 2020 septic tank ban. Yeah, that's correct. How to beat the septic tank ban 2020. So what exactly is the septic tank ban? What exactly is the septic tank ban? Is the septic tank ban a myth, a lie? Is it some kind of sales pitch propounded uh, and put forward by um, septic tank companies to try and scare people? Um, heaven knows I should know. <laughs> I've been in the business for 20 years and the last six months I've never been called so many names been called a charlatan and all, all kinds of things because people are like, shut up about the septic tank ban. Who are you to tell us? Huh? Who are you? You're lying. You're trying to scare people. It's a sales tactic. All right. Okay, fine. Listen, you're all entitled to your own opinion. All right. So in this uh, live broadcast, I'm going to show you all about the septic tank ban. I'm going to tell you the truth about the septic tank ban. Okay. At the end of the day, right. I make these live broadcasts to help people. So let me tell you the score and then you go figure or decide what you want to do about it. Okay, so let's just get straight to the chase. What is the 2020 septic tank ban? Well, the first way to, uh, oh, um, just let me say this one more thing, right, before I go on. This broadcast isn't about bad news. I've got some very, very, very good news for you. So if the 2020 septic tank ban is stressing you out, you're worried about it, or you're, you're, you're concerned about it, or about the misinformation out there, well, I'm going to show you exactly what it's all about now. And I'm going to show you two simple ways in which you can beat the septic tank ban and save yourself thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds. Okay, so let me dive straight into this. So the first thing I think we need to do um, is go and have a look on the government's website. So mm, let me have a sip of tea there. So let's get straight into this now. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is get up the government website. So if you want to know exactly what the septic tank ban is all about, go to the government's website. That's the first place I would suggest you go. The first thing you should do, okay? Go to the government's website. So you go to your internet browser, right? Let me just show you how to do this. Just go to Google, all right? That's what Google looks like at the moment. Um, so let me type in here. Let me just go here, right? And so I'm going to type in .gov, all right? .gov is the government website. All right, so here we go. So once you've gone to Google, here we go. I'm going to click on welcome to gov.co.uk. Okay, so there we go. Voila! Bama! So we're on the government's website now. I'm just going to have a quick cup of tea. Mm. Oh, man, I've been waiting for that all day. And if you wondered why <coughs> there's a tea bag in my tea, it's because they call it a builder's tea. Oh, and it's just gorgeous, man. It's just gorgeous. It continues to brew while it's in the cup, right? Anyway, so we're on the government website now. So when you're on the government website, what you need to type in is general binding rules. All right, so type in the term general binding rules, okay? When you've done that, just click the search bar, and then there you go. Okay, so you'll get a load of information come up, but what we're after is the first three um, subheadings there, categories, and I'm clicking on the third one down. Here we go. Now, I'll explain why it's called the general binding rules, and I'll explain why it's called the septic tank ban, okay? So let's just look at this. General binding rules. Now, all these rules <clears throat> come into force on the 1st of Jan 2020. They were first created um, on the 1st of January 2015, but they actually become law on the 1st of Jan 2020, right? And the rules are this, general binding rules for small sewage discharge to a surface water. So here we go. Let's qualify what that means. Rules you must follow if your septic tank or small sewage discharge treatment plant releases or discharges liquid to surface water. 
All right. Rules you must follow. So let me show you exactly, exactly what that means. OK. All right. So here's a typical scenario of a house in the countryside. And here in the foreground. Is a septic tank. Now, maybe you don't know what a septic tank is. Well, a septic tank basically is a holding tank. It can be plastic, can be concrete, can be whatever. And uh, let me just take the grass away here. There you go. Okay, so let's just give you a, a cross section, cut section. All right, so there you go. So that's the septic tank. Now, the septic tank from this particular house, all right, what happens is let's just take the tank panel away. So all the wastewater from the property, such as from your bidet, from your shower, from your toilet, from your bath, from your washing machine, from your dishwasher, from everything, from your toilets, everything, right, from your sinks, will all go into the septic tank here, okay? And when the septic tank is full up with water, wastewater, sewage effluent, it looks something like that. Yeah, and that's pretty revolting and disgusting, all right? But nevertheless, that's what a septic tank is, and that's how a septic tank works, okay? So it fills up. Now, many septic tanks discharge into the soil, all right? So they've got a soak away. What do I mean by a soak away? Well, let me show you, all right? So let me show you. If I show you this, then you'll understand uh, a bit better. So that's a typical septic tank. All right, concrete tank. But if I show you the difference between two types of soakaways, then you'll understand exactly why the government are bringing the septic tank ban into force. All right, so here we go. So hopefully this will work. All right, yes, good. Oh, no, we don't want that. We want that. Okay, so here's a typical onion tank in the ground, and here's a typical soakaway. Now, as you can see, this soakaway connected to this septic tank here is discharging into the soil so as you can see it's a, it's basically like a herringbone system and all the sewage will go into the septic tank uh, it will then leave the septic tank via this outlet pipe here it will go into the inspection chamber and then it will make its way through all these soak away pipes and then soak away into the gravel here and then just drain away into the soil so if i show you a proper example of that if i just go on to here and type septic tank soak away i can show you the difference between the two let's just have a look see if there's anything on here any images let's have a look oh, in fact what i'm going to do i'm going to go on to google because google for some reason have just got lots of better images on their things Oh, man, go away. All right, so I've got Google, and I'm going to type septic tank soak away. There you go. And go to images there. Ah, here we go, straight away. All right, so here's one here. So let's just visit this site a second. I don't know who these guys are, but the point being is, there we go. All right, so this is a typical septic tank soak away that's going to the soil. So lots of pipes, lots of gravel, lots of shingle. And all that sewage effluent will drain into the, the soil and the gravel. Okay, so that's a typical soakaway. That's soakaway number one. But what's happening is, in some circumstances, in some situations, many septic tanks are not discharging into the soil, actually discharging into, let me show you, the water. They're going straight into the watercourse. So on here, as you can see, there's like a ditch or a river that runs through this house, this place, right? And so the septic tank sewage effluent is discharging directly into the stream or the watercourse. All right. And so from the 1st of January 2020, this particular um, way of discharging, getting rid of your sewage effluent will become illegal. And on the 1st of Jan 2020, uh, the government inspectors will start going round inspecting the streams like that. All right. Let me show you this. 
All right, so there you can see a government inspector going around with his pollution equipment and he's testing in this instance um, for any uh, pollution coming from a septic tank, septic tank discharge. So from the 1st of January 2020, that type of discharge will become illegal. It's called the septic tank ban because any septic tanks that are found to be discharging into a water course after the 1st of Jan 2020 will be banned. Full stop. People will not be allowed to use them. The government will, may give you a couple of weeks to fix the problem. But what are the penalties? What are the consequences? Well, on the government website, just going back to it here, on the general binding rules about the rules, let me just get this up, rules you must follow, right? If your septic tank or small sewage discharge uh, uh, treatment plant discharges liquid to surface water. Surface water means a, a, a brook, a stream, a ditch, a river, a culvert, etc. Right. So let me just go down here and show you what you must do. Right. It says that your sewage treatment system, your septic tank, must be repaired or replaced. It's as simple as that. Right. Also, on top of that. If your sewage, if your septic tank or sewage treatment plant is leaking, has cracks in it, is in a state of disrepair, isn't maintained properly, has water pooling up in the soakway, also has to be repaired or replaced. And so the government inspectors can come round, right? They can come round, just like in this picture, and they will actually deem whether your septic tank is a health risk, is a pollution risk or not. All right. And so if you don't subscribe to these new laws, if you don't obey them, if you don't bring your septic tank up to scratch, then your septic tank will be decommissioned and you'll have, to, you could be fined. Uh, at the worst, it's going to cost you, what, 10, 15, 20,000 quid to replace your system. Worst case scenario after that is that you could be fined 10, 20, 30,000 quid. So these are the kind of scenarios, this is the kind of situation that many septic tank owners are going to find themselves in after the 1st of Jan 2020. Not everyone, of course, all septic tanks up and down the country are not going to be banned. I haven't said that, but it's called the septic tank ban for a reason. Is because certain septic tanks that are breaking the law after the 1st of Jan 2020 found to be uh, uh, breaking the law, polluting the watercourses will be banned. So that is the bad news. Now, remember, I told you I've got some really, really, really good news for you. Right. So let's just see where we are. Let's pretend you're a septic tank owner and your septic tank is polluting the water course. You want to fix it before the 1st of Jan 2020. Well, we've seen the options. You can either just leave it. Ignore what I'm saying. Call me a charlatan like many people do because I've brought up and I've mentioned the septic tank bans coming into force. Lots of people are angry, worried, stressed, frustrated about that. OK, I'm you know, I can't help that. I don't like it any better than you do. But the point being is this is some good news I want to show with you. That's the whole reason I've done this broadcast, not to scare you, but to help you. And the good news I want to share with you is this. You've got three options. Option number one. You can just leave it. Ignore what I'm saying. OK. Number two. You can replace your septic tank. OK, that's going to cost you anywhere from to relocate your tank, to put a whole new system in. You're looking at anywhere from flipping 12 to 25,000 quid. And where do I pull those figures out the air? Well, I've been doing this for 20 years. I know the price it costs to buy a septic tank and a soak away what it costs to install them. If you're putting a sewage treatment plant in, that's going to cost you even more money. Someone rang me the other week and said they've been quoted 15,000 quid to replace their system, to bring it up to scratch. I want to now show you a very, very, very simple and legal and cost-effective way to fix your septic tank if, it will, if it's going to break the law after the 1st of Jan 2020. Have a look at this. Right? Have a look at this. All right, so this is the scenario. This is where we left it, all right? This is where we were. All right, that's the situation your septic tank's in at the moment, okay? 
So have a look at this. All you need is something called a septic tank converter. Septic tank converter, right? I'll give you that again. I know you're not stupid, but just listen to this. Septic tank converter. All right, what's this? You buy yourself a septic tank converter. And this is what you do. And it's as simple as this. All right. You dig two small holes. All right, two small holes. Now, this soak away pipe would originally have come from out here down to here. That's the original run of the soak away pipe. Okay. But now, all that you do is this you put a, a new soak away pipe in a bit higher. Okay. So, leave, leave the original depth of that soak away pipe there. It's no problem. Okay. Then you put, I call them German inspection chamber. They call it a German inspection chamber or, or silt chamber because they collect all the debris such as sanitary towels, um, baby wipes, nappies, etc. Yeah, people do put them actually into their tank. Then this is the beauty. Have a look at this now. Have a look at this. Bam! That is the septic tank converter. They're non-electric, so they don't run on any electric whatsoever. So they don't cost a penny to run. They don't break down. They're organic. <coughs> so they maintain themselves. But this is the thing. Have a look at this. All right. So this is what they look like. They're quite small. So they're beautiful looking devices. Have a look at that. They work by venturi suction and air pressure and bacteria, microbes and all that kind of stuff. Right. So all the sewage effluent leaves the septic tank. It passes through the German silt chamber and it goes into this beautiful septic tank converter. And let me show you what happens, right? Let me show you what it does to that horrible, filthy sewage. It turns it and converts it into beautiful, clean, natural, organic, liquid water fertilizer. I call it a fertilizer because it's clean and it's got minerals in and it'll turn your garden into like the Garden of Eden. But the point being is it puts out, it converts sewage waste into safe, clean, legal, safe wastewater. Now, these particular systems I'm looking at now, this particular one, right, is approved and certified by the UK government. Yeah, that's right. The government actually approved these systems, so they're, they're, they're fully legal. All right, so let me just, if I just go to my site now, let's have a look. So where you're probably wondering where can you get one. Well, first thing you need to do is just go to septictank.co.uk, all right? Then when you're on there, uh, let's have a look. Where is it on here? Just click there. Go to the shop. There we go. And click on treatment plants there. There we go. And it's on the converter. So just click the septic tank converter there. There we go. And if you're wondering the cost, no, it's not going to cost you 15,000 quid. It's not going to cost you 20,000 quid. It's not going to cost you 25,000 quid. They're 2999. Job done. Right? 2999. And that's what they look like. Called the ecosystem septic tank converter. There's the septic tank there. And uh, What's it do? It allows your septic tank to discharge legally into the water. And there it is, there's the converter. And so done a little video there. <clears throat> but the point is, that's what it looks like before. That's what it looks like after. It's as simple as that. Okay. And uh, it's really easy to install. As I said, you dig a hole for the chamber. You've seen all this, dig two holes, put the chamber in, put the, um, the, the ecosystem septic tank converter in, and there you go. Just cover with grass or turf it or whatever. And so that will save you flipping it, 12,000 quid, 22,000 quid minimum. All right. So they're just amazing. So, yeah. So just go to septictank.co.uk and, um, and you can find them there. So now remember at the outset, I told you there's two ways for you to help make your septic tank legal before the 1st of Jan 2020. Let me show you the other way. Section H of the building reg states that everyone with a septic tank must have 
some kind of template that is displayed in their kitchen or their utility room or with their solicitor that explains what system they've got and the maintenance that um, you've carried out on it, et cetera, et cetera, and lots of other things, right? By the 1st of January 2020, this will become mandatory, okay? If you haven't got one, it will affect you when, in, in, in two instances, when the government inspector comes around to look at your septic tank or when you come to sell your property. When you come to sell your property, this is what typically happens. A solicitor representing the people buying your house will say to you, um, what kind of sewage, let's see if I can just find a picture here and show you this. Okay, so here we go. Let me give you a typical scenario here, right? Let's say you've got a septic tank and you're coming to sell your house, right? What happens is this. The solicitor representing the people buying your house will say, okay, what system have you got in place? And you'll say, um, I've got a septic tank. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what make is it? What's the capacity of it? What's it made from? How often do you maintain it? Dum -de -dum -de -dum. At this point, many people rummage through the drawers, find, get their septic tank emptying receipts and hand them to the solicitor. He'll look at them. He'll hand them to his clients. They'll say, well, this doesn't tell us anything. They'll say, I'll tell you what, let's get some quotes in for a new septic tank and so quick because we don't know the condition of that one. They'll come back and they'll say, listen, well, uh, my client would still like to buy your property, but we want to reduce it by 15, 20, 25,000 quid for the price of a new system. At this point, many people get really annoyed saying, uh, no, you won't. And, and then and, and it just... It just starts a flipping chain reaction, okay? But you can, I can save you all that hassle, right? I can save you all that hassle. All that you need is, it's called a government compliance form. Yeah, this is a bit screwed up because I've had it on my desk, but nevertheless, so that's a government compliance form. So let me show you a bit more about this government compliance form. All right, on my website, go to septictank.co.uk. This form will save you thousands of pounds. Government oh, compliance form, there it is, okay? So on the top left of my site there, you'll see how to beat the septic tank ban and make your septic tank legal. Well, just click that, right? And then and you see a nice little picture of me cremacing, whatever, like that, yeah? But And you can play the video there if you want to, gives you a bit more information about what, what this certificate is. Watch this video. All right, so, but if you scroll down, I have, it, there's a lot of information there you could read, but basically, it's to help you make your septic tank become legal now. All that you need to do is go down to this and fill in, put your name, Jason or whatever your name is, and then your email address there, and then click submit, and then I will send you one of these forms in a PDF um, email. Download as many forms, copies as you want. <coughs> You'll notice on the form that there's loads of blanks on there. Fill in the blanks, what system you've got, how often you get it maintained, etc., etc. Display one in your kitchen, one in you, your utility room, and hand one to your solicitor. When you come to sell your house, it'll instantly save you 15, 20, 25,000 quid, and it'll make your septic tank compliant from building regs point of view before the 1st of Jan 2020. And if you so wish, right, if you really want to, you can buy me a pint or two and a Jack Daniels and Coke because I would have saved you a lot, a lot of money. The cost, what's it going to cost you? What's the con? What's the catch? There is no con. There is no catch. I don't want a penny off you. Just go to septictank.co.uk. And as I said, download as many forms and as copies as you want. There is no catch. As I said, I just like to give people free help and free advice. This is the whole point this is the whole point of these broadcasts that I do um, to help people. It's as simple as that. There is no con and no catch. If, if that helps you, I'm happy. Lots of people ring me saying, oh, Jason, cheers, mate. You saved me 3,000 quid. You saved me 15,000 quid. You saved me 20,000 quid. That's great for me. I'm not in the pay of any septic tank company. I'm an independent septic tank consultant. I've done work for uh, Prince Charles, the Queen of Dubai. Uh, I consult for UK Building Regs, Environmental Agency. So the point I'm making is, you know, I'm versed in building control law, and I just like helping people. So if this helps you, if this broadcast has helped you, then just go to, oh, we're getting there, septictank.co.uk, and um, I can help you too. So there you go. That's the end of my live broadcast today. Thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch it. 
Any questions, give us a bell. But look, at the end of the day, right, if you're looking for free help and you want free advice, then um, just go to septictank.co.uk. It's as simple as that. You'll find loads of free videos and stuff on my website there um, and other things that can really help you, that will help you. And it won't cost you a penny. won't cost you a penny. Um, and that's it, really. So, listen, thank you very, very much, as I said, for um, watching it. But if you want to beat the septic tank ban, if you want to make your septic tank fully compliant, fully legal before the 1st of Jan 2020, then just go to, as I said, uh, let me just show you this once more, then just go to oh, septictank.co.uk. UK. So I'm signing off now. But as I said, once again, thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch this broadcast. I hope it's helped you and I'll speak to you soon.